Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today I'm going to be teaching you about some of the major aspects of paramecium structure. So a paramecium is a single-celled protozoan eukaryotic cell uh, common in the environment and now let's take a look at what it looks like. So it has kind of this oval shape. It is surrounded by what are known as cilia. The cilia are used for two main purposes. The first one is motility, so uh, locomotion, moving around, and also for food capture. The way they function in food capture is right here. The cilia in this region will actually beat in such a way that it creates like a little whirlpool, which is really cool. And it will help direct food into the cytopharynx, which is also known as the oral roof, uh, and then down into the cytosome or the cell mouth, where it will collect into a food vacuole. Then the food vacuole will um, move through the cell, digest the contents, um, and then eventually any waste products that aren't needed by the cell get expelled through the cytoproct or anal pore through uh, a form of exocytosis. A few other things to keep in mind with paramecium structure are the two contractile vacuoles. They're shown here in blue. So you have these two contractile vacuoles. They're surrounded by this array of radiating ducts, which basically act to collect the water. Remember that paramecium is living inside a hypotonic environment. And what this means is that there's a lot of things dissolved in the paramecium cell, and outside of it, there's not much else in the water, just a lot of water. And so water is constantly wanting to flow down its concentration gradient from outside the cell to inside the cell. If water was just allowed to constantly flow in and in, the cell would swell and it would burst. These collecting channels around the contractile vacuoles help to collect water into the contractile vacuoles. The contractile vacuoles then contract and expel water back outside the cell, helping it to osmoregulate. Um, some other things to keep in mind are the cell wall. The cell wall also helps to protect the cell from swelling, from taking on too much water and bursting. The cell wall is sometimes referred to as the pellicle. And also there are two nuclei in paramecium. There is the larger of the two, which is called the macronucleus. The macronucleus is responsible for metabolic and other non-reproductive functions. And the smaller micronucleus is responsible for the actual uh, cell division process when it's time for paramecium to reproduce, to divide. And so those are the major components of paramecium structure. Check out my playlist on other cell biology topics, including things like osmoregulation that the contractile vacuoles uh, participate in, and then also things like sexual and asexual reproduction and endocytosis and other really cool topics. So check that out, and thanks for watching today. I'll see you next time. Bye!